Wait for it. Yes! <laughs> oh, awesome. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Modded Terraria with special guest Yoshi. His one time, one time only appearance. Yeah, look at him. He's so cute. I gotta hear that again. Listen. Yeah, it's Yoshi. And I'm riding on his back with a machine gun. Okay, it's actually really late at night, <laughs> but I'm headed over here and I am going to AFK farm with my waifus here for a few hours and I'm going to record the whole thing and I'm hoping that I get a uh, legendary weapon from Calamity. That would be amazing if I could get that. But anyway, guys, I'll uh, see you again in a few hours. Okay, guys, so that little farming session didn't end very well. <laughs> uh, I came back to the game, crashed. So, we didn't get anything from that. But I did make a bunch more of these auto farms. Some of them probably aren't going to do anything, like the pigrons probably aren't going to spawn. But I just threw all my statues here anyway. I'm going to turn these on, let them go. Hopefully, uh, that goes all right. I want to see if I get any legendary weapon from Calamity or anything else. We also need the uh, the Absorber. I'm gonna go and try to get all those ingredients right now. And I have a jellyfish farm down there, so hopefully I get one of those uh, mana jellies from them. Anyway, let's collect the rest of this stuff. Sucker! Look at this. Eater of Worlds with uh, 20, almost 2,500 health. 2,300, whatever. This is the Prepare to Cry edition of the Eater of Worlds. And uh, it's pretty fun. <laughs> You're pretty fun, but we gotta kill you. I don't think he drops anything special for Prepare to Die or Prepare to Cry. But I wanted to... Oh, man. <laughs> Let's try this. I wanted to... Uh... Ah get another worm scarf so i decided to fight him you know a little bit more fair i guess i should say let's do this actually let's do this this is gonna hurt really bad oh my god yes that hurts me it hurts my computer oh my god i'm so sorry <laughs> so sorry computer ow that hurt me really bad i didn't realize my hp was getting damaged that much Okay, let's just kill him now. Come here, where are you? Come over here, buddy. We got an orb staff and all kinds of other stuff. I heard that, uh, you know, each of his... Okay, he's dead. Each of his segments has a chance to drop... Let me, uh... Has a chance to drop a calamity... Weapon. Or legendary weapon, so I, uh, that's why I did that too. We're just gonna trash everything, though. That's not a legendary weapon because I don't need this stuff. And we're gonna grab all this. Uh, I got a cursed dagger. Or a cursed dagger. Where is that? Whatever, we don't need all this. Where's this cursed dagger? Right here? Throwing? And it's cursed. That's funny. Okay, I mean... Oh, it bounces. We'll keep that for because it looks cool. We can keep that. And we get the worm scarf that I wanted. Okay, that and that can go goodbye. And let's go back here. So that farming session went pretty well. We ended up getting almost everything we need. Um, we're, we need a blue gel. Hopefully that auto farm works. And we got one. And then I need a craw carapace or something else. One or the other. There's another item that I need. From either Crawdaddies or from Giant Shellies. Giant Shell, I think I need. Anyway, we'll put this in here. Uh, well, I might as well make... Nah, we'll keep it. Whatever. Whatever. Throw that in there. 
I'm just gonna throw all this stuff in here. Why not? Okay. Boom. Now I got that glitch. How did I get that glitch? Oh my god. No. No. I need this. Wait. <laughs> so I can't uh, scroll or attack or anything. But let's actually let's turn off the farm first before it crashes us because it's kind of getting all framey over here. Oh, I see one. Nice. And there's a giant crab, but I can't kill you, so hopefully the thorns works. I got a robot hat. Oh my god, there's a bunch of stuff. Okay. Uh, let me... I can't scroll for my magnet, even. Let me check the chests. Okay. Some of them probably didn't drop anything. What? What is this? Oh, uh, red steel armor piece. I thought that was something much cooler than that. I got a... Oh my god. <laughs> well, we got it. It looks like we got like a ton more of them. <laughs> nice. We got some spider meat. They don't seem to drop the arachnophobia anymore. That's interesting. Got a million death, depth blades. Death blades. No bunny stuff. Got a... Yeah. Birds didn't drop anything. Okay. See, I don't know if any of these things drop things in the mods. So that's why I hooked up all these other statues. These aren't going to spawn. I don't know why I did that. Uh, okay. Don't kill me, fire. Yeah, Medusa. Oh, we got 4,000, over 4,000 javelins. And the unicorns don't drop. Okay. Let me, um, I guess, sell this stuff if I can. Even though I can you know, I have that, uh, my inventory is locked on the torches right now. I'm just going to sell all of this. And I guess, look at that, we have 27 platinum just chilling out in our inventory. I'm going to pick up the rest of this stuff, hopefully. Oh my god. Faulty red steel shield. Uh, yeah, I'm going to sell the rest of this stuff and then... Put one of these mana gels away, and then I'm going to go over to Midifia 2, the other world, and we're going to go mining for that ore that we need. Purium, and then the two ores, Collapsium and Angelite, I think, from Tremor. Maybe more. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys, I already have NPCs spawning in this world. Basically, what I want to do is just go along the surface first and find this right here. But I don't want to... I brought a bunch of stuff with me to uh, make this faster. But I don't want to screw up this lake right here. Underneath my NPCs. For now. The moment. So I'm just gonna mine this up. Even though they're probably gonna get killed by... I think that was... Uh... <laughs> oh no! Don't kill the nurse. There's a... There's a cactoid or something over there shooting needles at my nurse. <laughs> That's awesome. Anyway, I'm gonna go along the surface, mine up as much of the stuff as we can, and then I'm gonna go underground and try to get some Purium ore from uh, Blue Magic's mod, and I want to explore the ruins biome. I did bring some Instavators, <laughs> and we're gonna use them pretty soon. Let me just uh, just speed mine all this stuff. Wait a minute. So I'm down here in the reach biome, and I noticed something. Look at this. We have ourselves a sword shrine down here. I don't want to completely destroy it. Let me just teleport in there. Oh, no. Wouldn't that have been epic, though, if it had an actual enchanted sword in there? Or our callus? That would have been really cool. Let me just mine out this way. All right. But yeah, the reach biome is really interesting. Anyway, uh, let me continue here getting the rest of this ore. I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, guys, so I just finished going along the entire surface and mining all the angelite and collapsium that I saw. So I have over a thousand angelite now and 600 collapsium. Now, oh, before I forget, I also want to mention that I'm st I made a bunch of Terra bullets from Calamity Mod and Flarium Arrows from Sacred Tools mod, just to kind of start using mod ammo instead of uh, just the infinite vanilla stuff. I'm going to try them out. 
anyway, so what we're gonna do now is try to get some Purium. <laughs> so I'm gonna go randomly teleport. Where are we? Okay, sweet. And then we're gonna use one of these because why not? It should be fun, right? Yeah. Oh, and what's this? That's more of that. Uh, we're looking for Purium now. For now, for the moment. Oh, is this Purium right here? It is Purium. And does this work on it? Let me just try to... Maybe I should make some sticky dynamite, but whatever. Stop. No. Okay, dynamite does not work on it. Whatever. Okay. Uh, we might as well grab this stuff too right here. And let's continue down. See if we find more like this. We found another crystal biome. Or maybe it's the same one. As last time, I don't know. Now, let me, I guess I'll probably just mine along the surface of the underworld. Nah, I want to have more fun than that. We are going to use another teleportation potion and another one of these because that's the way I roll. <laughs> Boom. Since we're in a temporary world and I don't really care what happens to this world, let's just completely destroy it with instavators all over the place. I wonder if instavators can, like, damage enemies. Come on, go. Oh, we're, we're through the dungeon. Check that out. We just instavatored right through the dungeon. <laughs> Get wrecked. Here, we might as well rescue you. Now you could die. See you later. <laughs> Have fun. Dealing with everything. Oh, we got some Purium. Sweet. Uh, okay. Give me this. <laughs> Purium, throw that out. We got 82 Purium. Uh, blue bricks, I don't know if I need this stuff. Whatever, it's all good. I can make blue bricks. That's how I made that little dungeon build. Get out of here. I don't remember what mod lets me do that though. I think Chad's mod does too. As well as the uh, another mod, maybe. Come on! Water, stop getting in my way. All right, let's grab this. After I grab some, a little bit more Purium, we're gonna use up all of these. Okay, here we go. <laughs> right through the glacier biome. After I use up all this stuff and just grab some, uh, some more Purium this way, we're gonna go down into the ruins biome, biome and uh, see if we can fight the ancient dragon boss here, but I brought the demon trophy and the celestial onion with me because, oh, that's right. I need that thing, that one more item for the, uh, for the absorber item too here. I see this and I have to do it. Boom. <laughs> oh, let's grab the one piece of Purium. I'm glad I didn't blow myself up. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> we kind of did, but it didn't kill us. Here's, is this the same no, this is a new ruins biome. Cool. Um, let's see. Unless I find any more Purium right here, what's that? Uh, get out of here. Go away. Okay, yeah, no more Purium that I can see. I'm gonna explore this ruins biome a little bit right now since we're here. There's a chest right here. I know this is kind of a lower tier. This is like a pre-hard mode boss. Which is why, uh, this is a tiny little ruins biome. You know, let's grab this and some more mudstone bricks. That's actually really cool <laughs> that it's made out of mudstone bricks. I'm using a ton of those things. And you know, I've got a bunch of mud and a bunch of stone. So it's no, not really a problem for me to uh, make more of them. What's that? Yeah. But hey, it's, you know, oops, we'll save them and stop killing me. Where are you? Conjurer skeleton, get out of here. Or wait, no, it's you. Here, let's try some of these, uh... Terra bullets. Yeah! Nice! Use them all up, what's this? Oh, I don't even know what that is. I can't mine it. Anyway, let me grind in here. Let me put this on, and this on, and... These little ghosts should spawn. I, I know I've already killed a few of them. Yeah, these guys. And they drop the spawner, I think. Or an ingredient for the spawner for this boss. So let's go do this. Kill a bunch of these guys. I think they 
It's only the ones that have a lantern. And those are the ones, they drop a lantern, I think. And it summons the boss. Oh! Yes, we got a craw carapace. That is pretty sweet. Nice! We got that. We didn't get the uh, boss spawner yet. I'm getting a bunch of this corrosive acid stuff from Spirit Mod. So I'm going to stay here until I get this boss spawner because I want to fight this boss. So hopefully we can get one of those within the hour. <laughs> Without too much time going by. After 10,000 years. We finally got it, guys. <laughs> we finally got one. Uh, but I need to use it as at an altar. I think that's what I saw earlier at this other ruin biome. So let's actually get at... What is that? What is this? Ooh, what are you? You're dead. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Other than that dropping, a uh, finally... Finally dropping after all that time. Oh, we got a horn. Okay. I got these two lapis. Now, let me just open the recipe browser real quick. Lapis. I was like, what do I need that for? I need that for the Ancient Watch to summon the Paradox Cohort, which is a Tremor Mod, uh, Tray Mode, Post Moon Lord. I think it's Post Moon Lord, right? It's uh, an event, a new event. So we, we'll do that next time. I don't think I have time for that this time. But where are we? We passed it. <laughs> and uh, what else did I get? I got four of these ruined keys. That's how long that took. They kept dropping keys. I didn't drop anything else. I was like, come on, man. Took forever. Seriously. Okay, now is this it? Yeah, this is probably it. After all that time, we better not die. Let me buff. <laughs> uh... We're going to make this, too. And then I'm going to look at this ore stuff. But, oh, there's something else I can make. Anyway, let's just do this. Prepare to die. Prepare to cry. And please work. Yes, Ancient Dragon. Oh, no, he petrifies you. <laughs> oh, man. We're going to try this. Book's Bullet Hell. Oh, it's dead. Man, I was hoping that wouldn't die that fast. <laughs> Where is the treasure bag? Here, give me. <laughs> okay, so, um, prepare to die, normal, yeah, um, okay, well, let's, oops, <laughs> I didn't think we'd die that fast, we used a uh, Book's Bullet Hell with these Terra Bullets, and we did how much DPS, 5,000, well, whatever, a bunch, anyway, what do we get in the treasure bag, it's a uh, pre-hard mode, I just wanted to fight the boss after all that time. That took, guys, I know I said 10,000 years, but it took like an hour and a half to get that, to get that to drop. Anyway, what do we get? Ancient soul creates a shield of souls to protect you. Uh, okay, look, hey. Cool, it's not a material or anything. It's similar to that thing from Blue Magic's mod. That elemental shield or whatever. And then we got the sword storm, which is also not a material. It shoots swords. So there you go. Okay, now, other than the... Uh, here, I'll just meet you guys back at the other world real quick. Okay, guys, it is time to make the absorber. Finally. Uh, probably at a... Let's just check this. Absorber, ancient manipulator. I should be able to make it. Uh... Right here. <laughs> oh, but I have to make this thing first. That's right. Grand Gelatin at a Mithril Anvil. Right here. Boom. Okay. Now, the Absorber. Boom. And let's uh, close that. 15 defense. Movement speed. 120% increased jump speed. Plus 30 max life and mana. Standing still boosts life and mana regen. Increased defense and damage reduction when submerged in liquid. Increased movement speed when submerged in liquid. Enemies take damage when they hit you. Taking a hit will make you move very fast for a short time. You emit a mushroom spore and spark explosion when you are hit. 6% increased damage reduction. Enemy attacks will have part of their damage absorbed and used to heal you. Dude. <laughs> and look at that. Rare... Uh, Modifier, 4% th thrown damage and 4% thrown crit. 
I think that's trying to tell me something. So I'm going to look into switching into a throwing class for a little while. Probably next episode. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. And, uh, yeah, before we... There's a few other things I want to make real quick. There's this. I need the ancient fossil. Okay, we can combine that with one of these and three ancient bone dust. Didn't I just... I just got... Oh, that's in my farms. And 15 bones... Yeah, 15 bones. Yes, we got plenty. Boom. And then at an anvil, okay. And three of these down here. Uh, where are they? I started on something, guys, down here. You can probably just, <laughs> you probably noticed. Uh, 15 of these, I think it said, right? Three, never mind. Boom. Okay, at an anvil. I'll show this real quick. I started working on my uh, biomes for fishing, my fishing biomes, and yeah, it goes all the way down to here so far. Eventually, I need to build a, a mushroom biome, or a glowing mushroom biome, and also a uh, crimson, possibly, just to be complete. But anyway, that's for the, the fishing quests. And now we can make the archaic powder, 50% increased mining speed, 7% damage reduction, and plus three defense while underground or in the underworld. Okay, I mean, it's cool. And it's a material. Oh, I didn't even notice that. What can we make with this now? Ambrosial ampule. 15 defense. Oh, man. So we gotta look into that too at some point. Let me make it daytime real quick. And I just wanna show you a couple other things before we get out of here. First off, we got a new little friend right over here. This is the player character from Hollow Knight, the other game I've been playing. It's actually one of my new favorite games. And then I have been working a little bit on the Colosseum and uh, I'm gonna have that finished for next episode because I wanna fight the Jumbo Cactar boss. We're gonna fight him in this arena next episode and hopefully the Paradox Cohort as well. But something I need to do is I finished the top, basically. Well, I'm going to put some decoration in here and here, like along all of these. And then I need to figure out a way to sneak enough sand into this build in order to turn the entire thing into a desert biome. What I did so far is I put actuated sand up on the roof. So that will help. I might actually have to do more. I don't know. But then, hey, Pinky. Thank you for the gel. <laughs> uh, this is actually all... There's a little bit of sand up here. But then there's shadow painted actuated sand in both of these doorways as well. And I'm going to put two more of these doorways down here. And I might have to do some of the building. I, I need to put seating in here. And like a audience. <laughs> but uh, I need to figure out ways, like creative ways to sneak sand into this build so that I make sure that the entire thing is a desert biome. I might put some actuated sand drifts over here. But anyway, if you have any ideas about that, something I can do, let me know to make sure that it's all a desert biome. Let me know if you got any ideas about that. Okay, guys, before we get out of here, I just want to take another quick look at this. All right. I'm going to start doing uh, a lot of, like, pixel arts around, I think, to decorate places. But before we get out of here, I need to give a thank you to Horrier for telling me a bunch of stuff, but also to try out the Terra Bullets. Okay? Because of you, that's why I'm... Uh, finally am checking out the modded ammo because I've barely used any modded ammo throughout this entire series so far. <laughs> it's crazy. So thank you very much for that. And then also a bonus shout out to Jason Ellis, who is an author. I just want to say thank you very much for that, man. That is so cool. <laughs> it really is. That's amazing. He's an author He's written a bunch of novels. You can uh, 
check out, like, do a search, Jason Ellis author, or Jason Ellis on Amazon. And uh, he just, you know, in the beginning of a novel, there's a dedication section. Well, he dedicated his book to, like, his family and several other people. And I'm one of them. <laughs> Said, like, thank you for making him laugh while he works on editing his book. Like, that's crazy. Thank you very much. Like, that just blows my mind that that happened. That's so cool. Thank you. And anyway, also, thanks to the rest of you guys. As always, I love all you guys. Thank you very much for watching, for all the support. And uh, next time, Paradox Cohort, most likely. Jumbo Cactar. <laughs> and uh, other cool stuff. I'm going to be building, too, probably. Anyway, thanks again. I'll see you next time. Peace.